AB Roll allows you the ability to switch back and forth between two video clips easily and accurately on one storyboard. Once AB Roll has been installed and activated, it can be found within the transition bin. As I did with both Luma Key and Chroma Key, I will adjust the length of this transition while it's in the transition bin. This will save me a step of having to lengthen it after it's placed on the storyboard. So with the AB transition selected, I go to the detail screen. Rather than extending the duration as I did before, which will only give me a duration of 10 minutes, I will enter an actual number in the duration cell. I position the mouse pointer in the duration cell, and in this case I will enter a time of 2 hours. So I type in 0 2 0 0 0 0 0 0, and then press the enter key on the keyboard. This will be adequate for any video clip I will ever capture. Now when I drag the transition down between two video clips on a storyboard, it will automatically shorten itself to match the length of those clips. Now here's a quick overview of the keys that we'll be using on the keyboard. The left and right arrow keys are used to switch back and forth between the A and B video clips on the storyboard. The down arrow will show both clips while playing back at 50% opacity. This action is only a visual aid and is not stored. The up arrow will delete a switch that was previously stored. The number keys can be used during the AB roll to alter the transition between the two clips. The numbers 1 through 9 alter dissolved durations, and the 0 performs a straight cut. For this example, I will be using a short segment of a wedding video that was captured between two different camera angles. This will be the A and B video clips that I will switch between. Please note, when performing an A-B roll, it's always best for the video clips to be of equal length. If I highlight the first of these clips and go into the detail screen, I find that it's 1 minute and 15 seconds long. If I go to the second clip, I see it's the same length as well. Let's go back to the storyboard. Now if both video clips were captured with audio, I need to make it obvious to the system as to which video clip's audio I want as the master audio track. The system automatically senses which of the two audio tracks is more prominent or loudest, and it is this track that will be extracted and placed on the audio channel below. The other audio will be muted. To make it obvious for the system, I select the video clip that has the audio track that I do not want and simply reduce the volume by going into the detail screen. I scroll down till I find the audio control volume slider and reduce the volume by moving the slider to the left. Around minus 20 or 30 should be enough. Now I can go back to the storyboard and select the AB transition from the transition bin and place it between the two video clips. With the duration highlighted, I want to go to the detail screen and show you that the duration automatically shortened itself to match the length of the video clips. Remember the clips were 1 minute and 15 seconds long, and now so is the transition. In order to make things a little easier to understand, I will perform the AB roll example while in the preview mode and not in the full screen mode. I highlight the first video clip and press play. As the clip plays, you can see the letter A in the upper left-hand corner of the preview screen, designating that the A clip is being stored. While the clip is playing, I'll press the number 3 key on the keyboard to set a dissolve rate of 1 second. Then, when I press the right arrow key on the keyboard, this gives me a 1 second dissolve from the A clip into the B clip. Notice that when the transition occurs, the direction of the switch is also illustrated. It then maintains the letter of the clip it's storing. I'll repeat this action again from the B clip to the A clip. Now, if I want a straight cut, I simply select the zero key while it's still playing, and the next time I switch, a straight cut appears. Now, at any time while performing the A-B roll, I can view both clips at the same time by pressing the down arrow key. This will play back both video clips at 50% opacity. This can be helpful in determining when to switch between clips. Any time a switch is performed, the down arrow is deselected and must be reselected if needed. 
Therefore, by the power vested in me, by the if you ever make a mistake in the switching process, simply navigate the playback cursor just before the mistake's location and play. Once the error appears, simply press the up arrow and the mistake is X'd out and removed. Once you have completed the switching, you can then go back to the beginning and review your work. Or, if you're happy with your performance, simply make sure that the AB transition is selected and go into the detail screen. In the detail screen, you'll notice a rectangular button called Generate. Pressing this button will generate the individual segments of each AB clip as it was switched. It will also include any dissolves that were placed as well as extracting the prominent audio. This newly generated storyboard can then be played back. Now, for those of you using the screenplay, the following pertains to you. Adjustments can be made after generating the storyboard. Simply highlight any two clips and synchronize them by pressing the sync key on the keyboard. The two clips will show the sync symbol in the lower left hand corner. I then select the first of the two clips, go into the detail screen and adjust its out point one way or the other. As I change the out point of this clip, the in point of the following clip adjusts automatically, keeping synchronization with the extracted audio. Also, let's say you want to replace a dissolve with a different looking transition. While the two clips are still synchronized, select a transition. And drag and drop it over the dissolve you wish to replace. And remember, don't forget to merge your transitions. AB Roll. It's easy and accurate saving you time from the standard insert edit technique. As you wear these rings, whether together or apart, for a moment, let this design remind you that your love must never come to an end. It must be continuous. Jason, will you take the ring and place it on Brittany's ring finger and repeat after me? With this ring, I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving husband. With this ring, I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving husband. Brittany, will you take this ring and place it on Jason's ring finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving wife. With this ring, I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving wife. You have come before your dearest friends and your family, and you have expressed your desire to be husband and wife and you have shown your devotion to each other by offering your promise and have sealed these promises by...